everyone, coming to you from the Northland. Um, I am going to put on some uh, brake caliper covers. These are the obviously before shots. Um, I ordered some red caliper covers from American Muscle the other day. They came in yesterday, so I'm going to put them on, and I'll try and um, I'll try and take some more video. Uh, after the tires are off, obviously I'm gonna stop or pause this in between. You don't—I'm sure you don't want to watch me pulling the tires off. It'll be two hours of boringness uh, in between. So I'll edit this, and hopefully, if I can figure out how to do that, and show you what uh, maybe a step-by-step -step kind of process, or show you what we got going. So here's the covers, and uh, I think they look pretty good. So. When I first got them, I thought, man, they look huge, but I put them up to it on the wheel, and they seem to fit. So we'll uh, we'll put some more video up here uh, in a little bit, and then I'll show you some after video, and hopefully it'll look good. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, so this is stage two, or I don't know, stage two, anyway, second step, whatever. I got the tire off, as you can see, and this looks like a pretty straightforward installation um, you put these clips here on the top and then one on the excuse me bottom here and you want to make sure that uh, there's enough clearance between the clip and the rotor they say at least a uh, 0.013 clearance so um, or or 300 and what is that? I'm trying to look at the metric scale. So there you go. And we have clearance on both sides. So that's good. Okay. And then the next step is to place them over the posts, like so. And then we got a couple of nuts there to put them on. Tighten them down. I think it's 25 inch pounds or something like that. Um, then I'll show the fronts too, and then we'll do a. I'll uh, show you what it's like after they're all installed with the wheels back on. But pretty easy, not very difficult. I mean, I think a fifth grader could do this. So here you have it. Okay, hello again. So here's the fronts. And oops, sorry about that. So this should go on pretty slick. Sorry about that. I'm trying to do all this myself. I don't have a video person like some people have. All right, anyway. So we had a little bit of trouble with the back. After all, took a little bit of a modification, actually. So if you can see, right back in here, it's, uh, it's very tight. And when I put the wheel on, it was actually rubbing. And I thought, you know, I just didn't want to scratch the wheel. I didn't necessarily care about scratching the cover, but I didn't want to scratch my rim. So I had to take it off actually, I think, three times. And uh, I just put some tape over some pliers and uh, just bent that corner in a little bit. And now it clears fine. So, And then I also noticed that these tires are so soft that, check this out, when I, uh, let me see if I can find it again here, um, like right here, there's all kinds of cuts and holes, luckily it's in the thick part of the tread, but um, the back one had a big hole in it. Or puncture in it so I marked it with a tire crayon but that just shows how soft these tires are um, so be careful um, you know it's a, I think it's a good idea to you know at least maybe if you're in between rotations even just to pull them off and, and look them over because you know you don't want to and especially if you track the car you don't want to uh, be cruising down the drag strip at a hundred and 20 miles an hour and have a blowout so um, pay special attention to those and, and keep checking your tire monitor in the car so which I have been doing they haven't been leaking air so that's a good thing but got to keep an eye on it all right we'll uh, 
catch you again when we're done here. All right, so here's another update. I've determined that this was the biggest waste of money that I've ever spent, and I advise you not to do it. I don't know if they weren't made for Brembo brakes and uh, just regular brake calipers, but here's my issue. You can see the inside edge there. So I put them on, and I checked the wheel, and it scraped all the way around. So then I thought, well, since I already ruined them, let's try and modify it a little bit. And I tried to bend it in, which I could do. And then my second issue became up top here, where, where these fit on like this. You have to have clearance between the clip that fits over this and the rotor. And the clearance was about the width of a piece of paper, which is not enough. So I decided that I guess I just am not going to use the front ones. I'll just put the back ones on since those were just plain crappy rotors anyway. I just don't know if it's going to look stupid or not. So um, I'm going to put the front wheel back on and... I guess I'll uh, I'll put the other side back one on, and then we'll go from there. I guess worst case scenario, I'll just take the tires off and take the back ones off again, throw them away. So I may as well just have thrown my money in the trash, I guess. But anyway, I uh, if you have a car like this and you have Brumbo brakes, just leave them. That's what I advise you. Or uh, take them off and take them somewhere and use a high temperature paint and. And paint them um, rather than using these covers so anyway that's where I'm at so I'll uh, I'll take another video here once we get it all together okay well hello again from the Northland so this is the final product um, you can see we got the regular black um, Brembo brakes with red lettering on the front and then the Red covers for, uh, covering just the plain, um, I don't know if they were just Ford calipers or what, but anyway, they were just your regular caliper, so we dressed that up a little bit, and it does look better, I think. I just wish the uh, front ones were red, too, but um, it does look better than it did just plain black or whatever it was, just the regular plain caliper without any kind of dressed up stuff on it. Um, so that was that side, and then here's the other side. So, um, again, better, but like I said, I think it's a waste of money, in my opinion. Um, it'd be better just to paint them, and now, of course, I wished I had just done that, but it is what it is, and you live and learn, and uh, even though the website said they fit my car i guess technically they did fit but uh, once you put the wheel on they scrape and i didn't want to i didn't want to ruin my wheel not to mention the fact that i didn't want to listen to the scraping noise ear shattering so anyway i'll uh hopefully we'll edit this all together and then uh, like and subscribe, please. Even if you didn't like it, smash that like button for me. I'd appreciate it. Uh, any comments, leave below, please. Um, and tell me what you think. Do you like the, uh, or do you think it's acceptable to have the red ones on the back, or should I take them off? Um, let me know what your opinion is. Okay. Thanks, and uh, we'll see you again on the next video.